Okay. On the side of the building, the exterior, on the east side of the structure, the main service disconnect, those boxes are all 100 amps. That's uh, the minimum that's required. That's the minimum that's required, so uh, they're all sized appropriately. So I'm getting in here, and I'm, I'm really not seeing, you know, is it 60, is it 100? I can't see what the amps are on that because the label has been torn off of this. So before we get started, okay, this is a Federal Pacific load center. There isn't a code requiring that I condemn a panel box based on its manufacturer. The Texas Real Estate Commission does not require that I call a panel box, a load center, a breaker box, service panel, call it what you will. That's not a deficiency. That's not a deficiency. Now, that being said, this is the most unpopular panel box there is. It's a Fed Pack. It's a Federal Pacific. It's a stab lock. Just about, I mean, some home inspectors won't even open them up. You know, they've got a very bad reputation. Now, a couple things going on here is, one, you're going to find that it's going to be easier for you to buy this box, this panel. It's going to be easier for you to buy into it than it's going to be for you to sell it. Because some people have, uh, you know, great concerns. You know? I wouldn't even call it superstitions. So, a lot of people have some concerns about these panels. So, that's, that's to be, you know, noted. It's to be noted. Now, you could spend a million dollars making this the safest unit in Texas. But you're only as safe as your neighbors. You're only as safe as your neighbors. So, yes, you could replace this panel. And you'd have to go through the wall. You couldn't put it back in the laundry. That's, that's a deficiency in and of itself. It would have to be, if you had, you know, replaced it, it would be over here on this wall. Just saying. Okay, another thing to note about this while we're at it, are you getting all the good news? This is L1 and L2 coming in here. If it was installed today and it wasn't, there'd be plastic covers on, on those two. If you don't know that's hot, you don't belong in this cabinet. I get that. But then we come over here, uh, this is your neutral coming through here like this. And some home inspectors will come in here and they'll say, oh, that needs to be wrapped with white tape. It only needs to be wrapped with white tape at the main. This is a secondary panel. So the white tape does not apply, you know, thing does not apply here. So what does apply? One, see the white hots? Okay, they should be wrapped with black tape. And see the, over here we got a blue and a white hot right there. That's called double lugging. Double lugging. Double lugging is not acceptable. See this one over here? We got another blue and a white one right there. That's called double lugging. Now, because this is a sub panel, if this is a main panel, you could take your grounds and your neutrals and you could just like, join them all up at the same same bus bar. But you see these grounds right in here, the bare copper wires, and then the whites with the white insulation on them. They're not supposed to share the same panel with this case. These ground wires should have gone over here. You got plenty of room. You got plenty of room to do it right. Nothing's going on here that's a little so weird. Okay. What else have we got going on in here? Oh, um, it's kind of interesting. Check this out. So I'm looking at all this beautiful copper. I'm going like, why do I have all these wire nuts in here? What are these wire nuts doing in here? It's just the wires just coming in here. So I just. Come over here and I just gingerly take this apart. Shouldn't be doing this. It's because there's aluminum wiring. The aluminum's coming to this, see? That's called pigtailing. And somebody pigtailed this and what they didn't use is the right wire nuts. The yellow doesn't count. Purple counts. And is there any? There isn't any antioxidant paste in there. So they used the wrong kind of wire nuts and they didn't even use antioxidant paste. I'm trying to get rid of the aluminum controversy. This panel only had one screw holding it up. It should have more than that. 
And it should be labeled. We don't know what they do. We do not know what they do. There's, we don't have any labeling. So the panels aren't labeled. I kind of liked how that was sitting out. All right. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let me come over here. Let me put these faux covers on here. It makes them look all modern. Sort of antique. Let me come over here and see that aluminum in there. We know we got aluminum. See the little aluminum wires hanging on there? So they pigtailed the receptacles too. And that's usually a, you know, a good thing according to your insurance company. Um, according to the Consumer Protection Agency, not so much. But your insurance company, they're betting on it. But see those red wire nuts in there? Those aren't purple. The yellow ones in the other panel, they're not purple. These red ones over here in the walls, they're not purple. So the pigtail was not done effectively. Or correctly, if that's the word. Again, Consumer Protection Agency. Um, we do not have GFCI on the exterior receptacle outlet. GFCI is not required here. Ground fault circuit interruptions. Shock protection. Over here, not only do we not have GFCI, we do not have electric grounding either. We're supposed to have both. We're going back here in this panel. Laundry, the 110. And pretty soon it's going to be the 220 with the 110. That's supposed to be GFCI protected. And it's not. I tested it. Coming all along in here. This is all out because we're going to have another video. We're going to have more fun. We're going to have more fun. We're not done yet. I know you're tired. We're not done yet. Okay. See. That's called, you, you do not have a goof ring. When this comes out like this, when this was framed, they put the boxes out so that this would be all flush and pretty. But then we came in here with these splash, bu splash backs. Makes it real nice, you know, when you're doing your dishes and stuff. You don't get the wall all dirty. And, and now we got a gap right in there. I sure do. We got a gap in there. So that way you lose your... Um, you know, you're fire blocking. So, they sell these things called, and I call it a goofering, that's what a lot of people call them, like extenders. It just slides in there and then slides in. They cost about $2 a piece. That's two, four, six, six dollars. You're going to pay more than that. They're going to charge you tax and stuff. That's how they get you. But, you know, for, you know, what, $10, it could have been done right. Now, here's the irony. You're just a little iron. We'll end on irony. These boxes have gaps. These, these boxes weren't even done right for the walls. This is back from when the place was first installed. Speaking of extenders, you probably need extenders on almost every box. Those are called outlet boxes. And then this is the appliance. You can, sometimes you have switches, sometimes you have plugs, receptacles. So, anyway, we probably need two, four, six, eight. So all these should be opened up. And by the way, you can buy receptacles. You can buy receptacles that are rated for aluminum instead of uh, improperly um, pigtailing them. And this is not a big place, so you know, it would cost a fortune. But if it were me, or if it were my sister, my brother for that matter, my brothers know everything, you know? so it's kind of hard. Maybe my sister will listen to me. She does sometimes. But I have an electrician come in and take care of these and these. These. Those, those. Install GFCI where it belongs. How about this? You got one smoke alarm right here. You should have another smoke alarm right in here. You, don't, you only got one smoke alarm. I'd replace that smoke alarm. One with a lithium battery. Just look at the electrical, come in the electric service panel, talk to him about the Federal Pacific, know what your options are, and, and just address the panel, move the grounds over, a little bit of labeling. 